Some praise for the Lord truly been good to us on last week. We had some ups, we had some downs, and we had some disappointments. But through it all, God been good to us. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Come on, y'all talk to him and say, neighbor. It's another day that the Lord has allowed us to be in the house of worship one more time. Amen. Now just look across the church and wave at somebody and tell them good morning. Anybody know that God been good to you? If God been good to you, just wave your hand and tell God, thank you. For the Lord has blessed us all week long, and God has kept us when the enemy tried to take us out. God looked beyond our fault and saw our needs, and he helped us along the way. Not only did he do it on Monday, but he did it on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And already, he's starting out already on Sunday doing the same old thing. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. I can't hear y'all talking to me. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. Because you could have been dead and gone a long time ago, but God kept you anyhow. When you went right and God told you to go left, he still blessed you anyhow. Somebody tell God, thank you. Somebody going through a problem right now and you don't know which way to go, you don't know which way to turn. But how many of y'all know that if you trust and lean on Jesus Christ, that he's able to guide you through all your things you're going through life. But you got to know that, say, God, I'm still here. Come on, come on, tell God that I'm still here by the grace of God because he's able to do it. And see, in Monday morning, you can ask and even think. Come on, give a hand, God, a hand, pray. For God has truly been good. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think about where God had brought me from when I felt like giving up, when I felt like throwing in a towel, when I felt like the odds was against me. I felt like turning around and doing what I used to do back in the day. But I realized that that was a dead end. I was on my way to hell. ain't doing that anyway. I decided I'm going to try something different. And that's give God the glory in spite of what I'm going through. Give God the glory in spite of what I'm facing. Light on. Many times I've been lied on, but I'm still here. Anybody can agree with you being lied on sometimes? Oh, burden. I had my share of burdens, but I'm still here. Ooh, yeah. Talked about many times I've been talked about, but I'm still here. Through it all, I made it through another day's journey. Anybody glad you're here? But I'm still kept me here. Anybody can agree with what I say? Oh, it is through another day journey, but God kept me here. Anybody might can agree with me when I say this right here. Disappointments, I had my share of disappointments, but I'm still here. Oh, bruises, I tell my share of bruises, but I'm still here. Anybody been sick in here? Just wave your hand if you had to go through the, whoa, sickness, you had your share of sickness, but you're still here. Through it all, I made it through another day's journey, but God kept me here. Anybody can agree that God been good to you? Just wave your hand. Oh, I made it through another day's journey, but God kept me me here. Any prayer requests and shout out my name is Jesus. I made it. Yes, I made it. I'm still here. 
Anybody can say, I had to cry in the midnight hour. Oh, I made it. Yes, I made it. I'm still here. In a prayer request, a shout them out now in the name of Jesus. Call them out. Somebody going through some trouble. Somebody going through some trials and tribulation. Somebody sick. Somebody mind is all over the place. Somebody children is out of order. Somebody wife. Somebody husband. Somebody uncle, grandfather, aunt, auntie is out of order and don't know how to get back home to Christ. Pray that they find their way back to Christ. Praying for your co-workers, praying for the one that's fighting to use you, praying for the lost, praying for the sick, the shut in, praying for everyone that's just going through something. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself that God will lead you and guide you. You got a situation on next week that you don't even know nothing about, so you need to go ahead and pray in advance. Go ahead and pray in advance for the God's deliverance. Let us pray. God, we thank you for another day. We thank you for another day on this side. For we know it's with nothing but you that brought us this far. And it's only you that's going to tear us on. God, we thank you for all last week. For things that we faced and you brought us through. For things that you blessed us with, Father God, that we didn't even deserve. Lord, but we just thank you because you have kept your hand on us on all last week. Lord, the enemy set traps for us on last week that we didn't know nothing about, God, but you guided us, Father God, around all this misfortune. You got us around all the danger. You got us all around the sickness, Father God, that the enemy tried to set us up. But, God, you saw it and you protected us. And we just want to tell you thank you. God of God, we want to pray for the one that's bereaved and hard, Father God, that things are not just the same as it was the week before, Father God. But Lord, you have kept them and blessed them, Father God, and kept them in the right mindset that they can move on in life. Father God, it's going to be some dark days, it's going to be some dark nights, God, but we know that you are a God that never sleeps nor slumber. You're a God, Father God, that in the late in the midnight hour, we can call on you, Lord, and you will answer our prayer, and you won't get our our blessing and our, our, our needs mixed up with one another. You just got your hand all on us, Lord, and we want to tell you thank you. God, we want to thank you for our children, Father God, our children, children, Father God. For Father God, they go through mis they, they go through trials and tribulation themselves, Father God. That sometimes we have to step in, Father God, and lead them and guide them, Father God, which encounter put us in the situation. But God, we thank you, Lord, because you keep us, Father God. We thank you because you bless us, Father God. You teach us with the right understanding, Lord, and you give us wisdom, Father God, even when they're going through, Father God, that we're able to help them and see them through. God, we thank you for you being a doctor in our sick room, Father God. Praying for the ones that go going through sickness, right, Father God. Pray for the ones that are going to have to go to the doctor, medicine, Father God. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But Lord, we walk by faith and not by sight, God. We thank you that we, you are that God, that you are a healer. When the doctors say you can't be here, that you are a doctor, when, when no one seems to find the problem, Lord, we know that we can put our hands on our own self, Father God, and heal our own self. But you said by your stripes, we are healed. Lord, we thank you right now. We, Lord, we thank you for all the visitors here this morning, Father God, that come, Father God, to serve you, Father God, not for form or fashion, Father God, but they come to serve you and to give you praise for what you had done for them on last week, Father God. Most of all, God, we come, Father God, to get our battery charged up, Father God, for the week ahead, Father God, before they know that the devil desired to sift us as weak, Father God. But we come today, Father God, to get charged up, Father God, to get anointed, to get delivered, Father God, to get a tune-up for the week come forth, Father God. We just thank you now, God, for for all you have given us, Father God. We thank you, God, for lifting our burdens over our lives. We thank God for deliverance, Father God, that ones that capped up in bondage. Lord, we just thank you right now. Lord, we thank you for our elders, Father God. Keep them well. Keep them healthy, Father God. When they need desire help, Father God, no one's around, Lord, let them seek ye the church, Father God. And let them find, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let us be vessels, Father God, for our elders, Father God. Let us be just thank you, Father God, for the jewels of they have, Father God, the thing that they have taught us, Father God. You may not say anything, God. We thank you, Lord, for how they move and operate within the body of Christ, Lord. That's enough to tell you. Thank you, Father God, for leading and guiding them, Father God, to be example for us to walk by. 
Lord, we bless the officers of the church. Lord, we bless the squad, Father God, that's going to sing songs, Father God, that's blessed us through the week, Father God, with the ushers, Father God, that on their posts, Father God. We thank you, now, God, for our trustee, Father God, our deacon ministry, Lord, our, our pastor, Father God, for our musician, Lord. Everybody under the umbrella, my presence about the church, we thank you and give you praise and give you honor, Father God, but you've been so good to us, Father God. As we look down the line from being a little boy up to this present time, God, you've been good to this church on the corner, and we want to tell you thank you, Lord. We thank you for the blessing you have given us on to the years, Father God. Even when the enemy tried to capsize our boat, Father God, you still, Father God, kept your hand around us, Lord. We want to tell you thank you, and Lord, we pray that you send your anointing in this place, Lord. We pray that you send your deliverance in this place, Lord. We pray that you send your healing in this place, Lord. In the distant apartments, Father God, we ask that you lift up a bow down hand, Lord. Increase their spirit fire to make them run on and see what you have done for them down through the years. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be accepted in thy sight, Lord, Lord, thy scripture and redeemer. And I need about three of y'all to say amen. And the rest of 20 of y'all say amen. And if you ain't said nothing all morning long, just wave your hand and say amen. Come on, get God a hand, pray all over the sanctuary. If you got two of these right here, just put them together and tell God thank you.
Hallelujah. We've come to praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because he is worthy of all the praise, honor, and the glory. Yes, he is. And we want his glory to fill this place. His glory to fill our hearts and our minds. Because when we're in his presence, healing takes place. We get joy. We get deliverance, peace, happiness in the presence of the Lord. So we're asking God to let his glory fill this place. And whatever you need from the Lord on today, I encourage you to ask the Lord and receive it. Amen. According to your faith. But you've got to open your mouth and ask the Lord. Oh, God, fill me with your presence. Fill me with your glory, God. I need healing. I need deliverance. I need peace. I need direction. Fill me, God, with your presence. Let your glory fill this place, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes, God. Let your glory fill this place. Let your all-consuming fire fill the tabernacle, purify our hearts. Surround us in this place. Let your all-consuming Fire fills this tabernacle, saturate our heart. Oh, oh, let your glory fill this place. Let your all consuming, consuming, consuming fire. Feel the tabernacle and purify our hearts. Surround us in this place. Let your all consuming fire fill the tabernacle. Oh, 
oh God, we need you, Lord, to shower down. Yes, God. Send your spirit, Lord. Yeah, God, go rain. Please, Jesus. Please, God. Please, God, breathe on us, God. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Shower down. Shower down. Shower down. Shower down. Shower down. We need your healing, God. Woo! We need your deliverance, God. We need peace, God Almighty. Oh, shower down. You know what we need, God. You know what we need, God. Oh, God, give it to us, Lord. We surrender to you, God. We give you our hearts, Lord. Yes. We give you our minds, God. Shower down. Come on, Holy Ghost, shower down. Come on, Holy Ghost, shower down. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you, God. We need you, God. Yes, God. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Shower down. Sing your spirit, Lord. We need you, God, today. Oh, breathe. Fresh wind from heaven, God. Oh, rain. Oh, your anointing, God, your power, God. Oh, God, breathe. Sweet fragrance from heaven. Oh, shower down. Shower down. In your spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, we bless your name, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we bask in your presence, Lord. Oh, we need you to breathe on us, God. Oh, set us free, God. We want an encounter with you, Lord. We need an encounter with you, Lord. Oh, bless us, Lord, with your presence. Oh, I bless this Lord with your presence and breathe on us. Yes, God. Oh, breathe on us. Hey, God. Oh, shower down. Shower down. Sing your spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. Let the Lord breathe on you today. Whatever you need from the Lord, just ask God, breathe on me, Lord. Here am I, God. I need you to breathe on me, Lord. I need deliverance, Lord. God, I don't know what to do, Lord. I have a decision to make, Lord God. And I don't know what to do, God. My heart has been broken, Lord God. And I need you to heal me, God. I need you to breathe on me, Lord God. Oh, God, encounter. An encounter with the Lord. An encounter with the Lord is when he comes and holds you and breathes on you. Oh, breathe on us, God. Whatever you need from the Lord. He is here. He is here. He is here. The presence of the Lord is here. Almighty God is here. Jehovah is here. El Shaddai is here. Hallelujah. 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 Breathe. Breathe, Lord. You know what we need, Lord God. 
Oh God, breathe. And the good thing about the Lord, he can bless all of us at the same time. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, whatever you need, the Lord can do it all at the same time. And you don't have to make an appointment with the Lord. Whatever you need from the Lord, hallelujah, just cry out to him. He said, ask and it shall be given. Ask and it shall be given. Ask and it shall be given. Hallelujah, hallelujah, breathe. Oh, breathe. Breathe. Oh, just love on the Lord. Love on him. Love on the Lord. Love on the Lord. We need you, Lord Jesus. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever your struggle is, even if you just want to worship the Lord for who he is, for what he's done for you in your life. Oh, he welcomes it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For what you've done for me yesterday. For what you did for me last year, oh God. Oh, I didn't know how I was going to come out, Lord. But you were right there, right there, right there. You never left me, Lord. You never forsake me, Lord. You were right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. You say you were, you will never leave us. You say you were, you'll never forsake us. You say you were, no God, you are a promise keeper. You say you watch over your word to perform it. It will not return to you, Lord. You said, God, you said it, God. You said it, Lord God. And you are faithful. Your faithful love endures forever. You sent your word and you healed. You sent your word and you delivered. Hallelujah, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Yes, you protected us. Thank you, Lord. You kept us in our right minds. Thank you, Lord. You made a way, God. Thank you. You snatched us back, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and everything that he did for me on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, when I think of all, of all you did, Lord God, I say thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hey, hey thank you, Lord.
Hallelujah. Just let your mind go back to many things that the Lord kept from you this week. The many things that could have happened to you deserve to happen to you. But his grace and mercy, hallelujah, rain on us. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody ought to tell him thank you. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. I didn't deserve it. But God, you allow it to happen anyhow. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Could have cut me off. But you spell me. Hallelujah! I deserve it, but you spared me! Glory! You may be seated. Oh, we worship him because who he is. We worship him because of his goodness, because of his mercy. Thank you, Lord. I heard the song say, I don't know why he loved me. I don't know why he cared. But I'm so glad he cares for me. Where would I be if he didn't love me? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just praise him because, because of the goodness, because of his everlasting mercy. We praise God. We thank God for all of you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you.
may let those in at the door. Let us continue to pray for those who in the hospital, nursing home, continue to pray for the Reef family, the Sally family, and other family that you know going through a moment of loss of a loved one. Continue to lift them in prayer. Continue to pray for Brother Eddie Lee Wanamaker. Always call and say, tell the church, I'm still holding on. And give us love. What a witness Brother Wanamaker is. Been in jail for 40 some years. But when you talk to him on the telephone, you think he's in the next room. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Physically, physically, you can be locked up, but spirits are free. So we thank God for him. Thank the choir. Thank you for ushered up in the presence of Almighty God. Praise is what we do, but worship is what you and God does. Amen. And as you're going to worship him, you have to praise him first. And when you praise him, it urges you in his presence. And in his presence, something always happens. You can't get in his presence and remain the same. Something will always happen. So thank God. Good to see all of you. God bless you. Amen. This is what Sunday this is? What Sunday is this? What Sunday? Is there anything special about the first Sunday? All right, all right. We get to be reminded of his love by sharing in his, 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 his bread that represents his body and the white represents his blood. So first Sunday is always a good Sunday. Amen. That's why I'm going to come back next Sunday because I believe he's alive. Amen. Don't serve a dirty Savior. He's alive. Amen. Amen. Sister Shakina, would you come down and welcome our visitor? I thought I saw Sister Z. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. I hope everyone is well today. I was wondering if we have any first time visitors. Anyone visiting for the very first time? Any returning guests or visitors that would like to be acknowledged? Good to see you back, Sister K. Ruth and Mr. James. I just wanted to say on behalf of Pastor Smith and Sister Smith and the entire Mount Pleasant Baptist family, thank you for being here, and please come again. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All right. We shall continue. Now uh, we will lift our offering as we prepare this morning for our communion service. Amen. All right. So, so at least one Sunday out of the month that you ought to rejoice. And that ought to be the first Sunday. Because our sin had been forgiven. Amen. It's under the blood. It's under the blood. Under the blood. Let us stand, please.
bless Let me hear you say it yeah. You know you've been blessed Say yeah. yeah If you've been blessed Say yeah, yeah. Say shown up And he gave me the victory Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. 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 No, you've been blessed. Somebody might be wondering why all the excitement is because we are witness of his blessing. Amen. We are witness of his, of his blessing. Amen. 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 The young lady rung the bell on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the prayers. And thank you for the gifts and everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Amen. 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 Those who know what she have gone through and how the Lord has brought her to the point. So we give him praise for what he's already done and what he will continue to do. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Amen. Father God, we want to thank you for thank allowing you, us to be in the yes, assembly Lord. one more time, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to thank you for another chance just to yes, get Lord. it right, Lord. Yes, Lord, Lord, we want to thank all those that participated thank you, Lord. in giving and offering given this morning, Lord. Yes, we Lord. want to thank the ones that gave and we want to thank the ones that thank you, didn't Lord. have it to give, Lord. But yes. bless them in a mighty way, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we want this to be uh, uplifting you, to your kingdom. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. 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 And see, when you, when you praise God, he will do more. Amen. He'd have it to praise. Amen. 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 So he's certainly worthy of all of the praises, all the things that he have done, all the things that he continued to do for us. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God that he still in the business. Lord, still have not lost their power, Lord. Amen. Amen. As we will prepare for our communion service, this is the great or the highlight of the Christian faith. When we continue to say to Satan, we still believe. And even when he said to us, yeah, but look what you're going through, we still believe. Amen. If I'm sick, I still believe he's a healer. Amen. If I'm struggling, I still believe he's a provider. Amen. I still believe he's a way maker. Amen. Amen. That's what, that's what our Christian faith does for us. Amen. That's why we're here this morning, because we believe that we serve a risen Savior. Not in the tomb. Not on the cross, but he lived within us who will receive him. So we come this morning. The Bible said, let a man examine himself. You don't need to look at nobody. Nobody but you. Nobody but you. Nobody but you. 
Matter of fact, you're going to have to give an account. Nobody but you. Nobody but you. So let a man examine himself. Let a man examine herself. As we come this morning to come to the table, we come as one in the body of Christ. One bread, one body. We come this morning to celebrate. And remember his Glory, 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 glory. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The song said, what can wash away my sin? What can make me whole again? What? can pick me up when I'm down. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Because his blood, we hear this morning, because of his blood. Thank God for the blood. Hallelujah. Had lost its power. Thank you, Lord. Reached to the highest mountain in the Lord's Valley. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let us stand. Our Father God, we thank you again for this Sunday. Thank you for the opportunity to just be, remind ourselves of your love. That you suffered and died, got up on the third morning, that we might have the right to the tree of life. And Father, we come to share in this one body. Let us come as one body, regardless of who we are black, white, red, yellow, tall, short. Because of who we are, we come as one. Would you bless now this bread that represents your body, this wine that represents your blood, that we partake of it? we reminded to love each other just as you love us. Thank you now. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen.
in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. On that night when our Lord was betrayed, Until I come again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. One of these mornings, he's going to crack the sky. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But thank God for Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, Satan. Blood of Jesus. Let's kiss you. Oh, blood, oh, blood of Jesus gets you. Oh, Satan, blood of Jesus is against you. Oh. against you. Singing, oh, 
mad but the devil. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is against you. Amen. 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 We praise God. We thank God for the ministers, the officers, and the members. And to all of you, my brothers and sisters, thank you for coming this morning. Thank those who are watching by live stream. And thank God for all of you. Hallelujah. I'm glad that he loves us all. Amen. Amen. He loves us all conditionally. Because John 3, 16, they say God so loved the world that he gave his son that whosoever believed in him should not perish and have everlasting life. So he loves us all. Amen. Amen. Very familiar passage of scripture. Oh, uh, this morning, very good subject, one that, that we could preach every Sunday, and I think it would be needed every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday, because uh, one of the thing about God's Word, it, it never loses its power, and he said it won't pass away, and, and his Word is him, all right. 1 Corinthians chapter number 13, chapter number 13, and, and there's a little, little, little woman here. Y'all all right? All right, all right. This kind of, this kind of heat would be a good Sunday to preach about hell. <laughs> but I didn't, I, maybe the next time I'll check it and see whether there's a woman inside, I, I'll have me a hell sermon. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> 1 Corinthians chapter number 13, and verse number 13, and that's not, that's not a lucky number, all right? 13, 13. We can read it from the three, and now abide in faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. You may be seated. Our subject is... Choose the greatest. Choose the greatest. Choose the greatest. The New King James Version says, Now by the faith, hope, love, and these three, but the greatest of these is love. Greatest of these is love. Greatest of these is love. Somebody, someone has said that we have enough religion to make us hate but not enough to make us love one another. We got enough to make us hate, but we don't have enough to make us love one another. In this 13th chapter of First Corinthians, Paul dealt with uh, some of the gifts that was in, in the church and and it still remained today because some felt like because they spoke in tongue and some had very different gifts, they felt like they were special or they felt like they were more than anybody else. But I want you to know this morning we all on the same level. Amen. Amen. Job said you brought nothing into this world and you're going to take nothing out. Everything you have Belong to God. Even that voice, this voice I'm using belong to him. So we have nothing. So we're all on the same level. So none of us has uh, any right or any position that we can look down on anybody else. So what, that's what was happening in this uh, 13th chapter. They, was, uh, they had various different gifts, and they was using their gift as if to elevate themselves. But I want you to understand this morning, and I guess this is the way we get it mixed up somehow. Not one of us in here are so important. The most important person 
here this morning and we can't see him. Amen. It's not me. It's not you. It's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the most important. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all about Jesus. And that's where we get into trouble sometimes. We put ourselves in position and, and so forth. But it's all about Jesus. It's nothing about you. It's all about Jesus. So Paul had to deal with uh, the Corinthian church. And, he, and, and, and this is what he is telling them, explaining to them about what is the greatest. He said, By, abiders going to remain faith, hope, and love. But he said, but the greatest of that is love. And, and it's amazing, you know, we sometimes will show all of those other gifts, but love. Amen? And ma ma matter of fact, you can, you, can, you, can, you can fake faith. You can fake hope. But you can't fake love. Yeah, no, 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 no. You might say you love me, but if you hang around me long enough and you don't love me, it, it'll show up because I'll do something to make you. So Paul wanted to know that the greatest of that is love. Faith is the act of believing the things that God has revealed about himself. And acting on those beliefs, this includes commitment, cooperation, trust, and confident. That's what faith is. Faith is. Faith is. Faith is. Faith. Hope is. Uh, hope is to trust God. Promise. Or what hope is in the future. Whatever God promised, we hope for it because it, 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 it's, not, it's not a finger cross hope. Y'all know you used to say something, you cross your fingers. Like that. This, it's not that kind of hope. This is solid hope, but it won't happen now, but, but it's a promise that God promised, so it will happen in the future. So I'm hoping, but hope is never a substitute for faith. And if you pray to God in hope, you won't get no result. It has to turn into faith. Because uh, Hebrew 11 and 1, I believe it say, now faith. Now faith, now faith, and, 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 and they pick at me for saying it like that, right now faith. Faith now is the subject of thing hoped for. Yeah, but there's a thing that is not seen. So Paul said to them, yes, uh, faith and hope, but he said the greatest of the greatest of these three is love. Faith will no longer be one day. Hope will no longer be one day, but love will be forever. So he said, choose the greatest of these is love. And somebody might want to ask the question, why, why, why is love the greatest? Oh, love is the greatest. Love is the greatest because love never fails. Paul goes on in that 13th chapter. He said, though I speak with tongue of men and angel, but have not love, I become sounding brass and clinging cymbal. Other words, I can get up and speak in tongue for an hour and don't have any love. He said, you're not but made a whole lot of noise. Amen. Amen. He said, no, yeah, no, 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 you just made a whole lot of noise. And he goes on to say, he said, and, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, other words, I can be God's right hand and don't have love, it's profiting me nothing. And though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, amen. And don't have love. Oh, let, me, let me say that a little I got all of the faith. I can remove mountains. I can understand the mysteries of God. 
but don't have love, he says, it doesn't cost me anything. Anything. If I don't have love. Whatever gift that you have, unless you use it with love, you're just making a lot of noise. You're not possibly anything. And, and, and before you learn how to say hallelujah, you ought to learn to say I love you first. Amen. Yeah, I love you first. I love you. So Paul goes on to explain that why love is so important. He said because love suffer long. Mm. Love suffer long. He does not say love suffer, but he said love suffer long. How long is long? Ah, you didn't thought about that, did you? How long is long? He said love suffer long. And then he said love is kind. Love is kind. Love, love suffer long and is kind. Suffer long and Kind. Not short suffering and kind, but suffer long and kind. Even when I should have given up, even when I should have put a foot, I still suffer and still have to be kind. He did say, be kind ye to one another, to the heart. Love. Suffer. It's kind. One thing about when you read the Bible, you need to understand. Remember, Jesus told. Peter asked, how many times should I forgive my brother? He said, seven times? He said, no, 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 no. Seventy times seven. And he didn't say in a day, in a week, in a year, in a lifetime. He just said it like that. So why are you complaining about Lucius had long run out yet? Has long run out yet? How long is long? He said, long, suffer, love, suffer long. And then love not even, love not jealous of what you got. No, that's not love. You know, you know, you know, maybe y'all don't have, but you know, years ago you had a friend, you know, you get something better than he had or she had, you know, they would kind of act different. That's, that's not no friend love. Love that not jealous of him, but you je love happy to see you doing what you do. That's what love is. So anytime you got folks that that jealous of you, even of you, and they tell me, I love your home, boy, I love your home. Don't you no, you get out of my face. You love what I can do for you, you don't love me. Oh. Love does not parade itself. Amen. You know how some people walk around proud of themselves, you know, unless I put a seal on it and it ain't happen? No, that's not love. Love, suffer long. Love is kind. It's not envy, not jealous. And you find out that these things that breaks up home, family, and even the world. Amen. Amen. Even countries. Because of jealous. It's not puffed up. You know any puffed up folks? Look down on everybody. I mean, you, you, they totally than you, but you look down on everybody. Nobody gets it right, but. I'm the only one who got it right. Love, that's not love. That's not love. And see, he was talking to the Christian. Don't ever let your gift put you above somebody else. You can preach better. You can speak tone better. You can pray better. You can shout better. You can sing better. Don't ever let that put you above somebody else. Because you ain't got nothing. Whatever you're doing, it God allowing you to do it. Oh, well, you're using his stuff. You're using his stuff. He said, love is not, love not behave rule. God, no. Amen. You know, you know, you come across some folks and they, 
I put him, I put her in a place, you know, and they go switching off like you. I said, no, 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 no. You, you correct me for me to repent. You don't correct me to hurt me. You correct me because you want me to repent. And any time you do it any other way, you're out of the will of God. No, you don't correct people to get it. I put him in her in her place. No, 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 no. You ain't done nothing made a noise. Correction is to lead me to repentance. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And see, if you got that long suffering, you lead them to repentance. And that's all you want them to do. Lead them to repentance. Amen. And, and you see, you know, I, this, this thing about religion, it's a, it's a learning thing. There's a whole lot whole lot we need to learn. There's a whole lot we don't know because we think it's just a little singing, a little shout is all. No, 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 no. The word of God won't do you no good until it, until it comes off the paper and get in you. The living word. The living word. The living word. The living word. Yes. Love does not seek it on. It on. How many times you can't compliment other people for what they do? You whole rest that have to. You know that's that's pretty good. But let me put this to it. Oh, it's all right now. That seek it on. That's not love. And that's what God wants us to be a people of love. We are one body. All the members of my body look different. But all of them have a function to make sure Lucy's do what Lucy was designed to do. Amen? So as I walk around and brag on my hand and criticize my feet, I'm criticizing my hand also because the hand belongs to the body. No, that's not love. Love no seek no answer. And, and love does not provoke. You know what, how you provoke? I'm just going to push your button. I, I know how to make you cuss. I'm just going to push your button. And David, you're not derail me, then you walk off and talk about me. I know the pastor wasn't no good all the time. <laughs> when you could have not provoked me, that's not love. That's not love. Love don't provoke. Don't provoke. It doesn't do anything like that. That's not love. Love is kind. Kind, 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 kind. Oh, we remember that love is kind. Love is kind. And everybody deserves to be treated with kindness. Amen. Amen. Everybody deserves to be treated with kindness. I like the next one. They say, love think no evil. I remember... Uh, I was in Washington, D.C., and I, I bought a little car, and I drove the car downtown, and the car caught on fire. And the area that it caught on fire in was a, a drug area. And the fire department came and got out off the truck walking. The car on fire, they got off the truck walking. They wasn't in no hurry to put the fire out. And I couldn't figure out what was going on until after it was all over. And the guy told me, he said, yeah, I mean, you're in a bad area, man. <laughs> they thought because the car broke down in the area that I was in the area doing evil stuff. 
I, I mean, now that's the fire department. I'm talking about us. Uh, many times you see folks in certain areas, and the first thing you come to your mind, oh, what are you doing over here? What are you doing over here? He ain't got no business over here. Guess where I saw the past that? And that person he tells you, oh yeah, come on, tell me more. And then they go spread it to somebody else. And it's a lie in the beginning. See what happened? You're not, you're not lying. You're not calling somebody else to lie. Only because you evil. Love don't think no evil. It doesn't sit around and think about how, how, how I'm going to get this back. You told a lie on my great, 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 great grandfather. I'm going to get you back. How I'm going to get you back. And love don't think no evil. Think no evil. Don't think any evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity. Oh, man. How many, 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 and some of y'all are probably looking at me, yeah, you, you, yeah, you know what happened to him, you know. Well, let me, let me set the record straight. None of us is above. None of that. It was him then. It could be you tomorrow. It could be me. None of us is above. So that by the Bible said, be careful. If a man is overtaken in a fall, you that are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of me to consider yourself tomorrow. Might be you. Amen. And I'm human. If you stomp me today and you in trouble tomorrow. <laughs> come on, Lord. Come quickly. He said, love that let joy rejoice. Many times, many times. And that's why, that's why we need to love people. Many times people that we don't like and they get fallen in sin. First thing we said, well, I know, I, I know it was going to happen to him. I, just, I know through the lady it was going to happen. Careful how you say that. If you knew that I was going to fall in sin and you didn't say anything about it to stop me, you're going to give an account. So be careful about it. I know it was going to happen. He said, don't rejoice in the nicotine. Don't rejoice when people fall in sin. It does not rejoice. It breaks your heart to know somebody has fallen, and you ought to lift them up in prayer. That's what love, that's why he said love. But it rejoice in truth. Hallelujah. So-and-so got saved today. So-and-so dedicated their life. So-and-so done this for the Lord. He rejoice in that. Amen. Somebody will get saved here today, and, and, and you wouldn't hardly tell it. And I mispronounced one word in the wrong way. You, you, do you hear how you heard what he's heard how he pronounced that word? <laughs> Ain't said nothing about little Joe got saved. How he pronounced that word. Don't rejoice in that. No. You rejoice in the truth. Bears all things. Believe all things. Love bears all things. Love bears all things. The Bible teaches us to bear one another burden. Yes. We need to help one another. That's why I said the other Sunday you, uh, to pray for that person you don't like. You know, you, 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 want, you, want, you want to pray, you know, go on your knees and you want to pray. That person you don't like, pray for them. And most of the time you fall asleep before you get to their name. <laughs> I had good intentions, but I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. 
Amen, because it's hard to talk bad to the Lord about me. Uh -huh. But love bears all things, believe all things, hope all things, endures. Endure all things. Endure all things. See, and that's, that's one thing I want us to get to see. We need to, there's a lot of areas that we need to grow up in. We need to mature a little bit more in. Bear all things and do all things. See, we, 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 those of us that working in the church, see, some of y'all think you're working for me. You ain't working for me. Some of y'all think you're working for the person at the head of your department. You're not working for them. You're working for the Lord. Amen? So if you're working for the Lord, why you get mad with me and quit the Lord? No, no, you're working for the Lord. I'm not going to reward you. God is going to reward you. So why you quit? So that's why he's doing do it all thing. At the end of the day, me and Lucy can't get along, but Lord, this is my job. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I'm doing it for you. Amen. So the next time you get ready to quit on him, remember that. I ain't working for him. For the Lord. Amen? He does all things. Amen. And what is all, how many is all things? All right. All things. All things. Love never fails. Love never fails. Love never fails. I don't know nobody that don't want to be loved. The lowest a person wants to be loved. The evil person, they, they want to be loved. And that's what turns people's hearts around is love. That's why the Bible said always speak a soft word. See, you know when you need to know when to speak a soft and kind word. Amen? I know that you can say the same thing to people, just you got to know how to say it. Amen? You can put people in that place and they'll praise you. And you, can, and you can put them in that place and you better run. God, soft words, soft words. Remember, everything is done with love. Yeah, everything done with love. Be quiet, Lucia. Do it with love. Get out of my face. Do it with love. Leave me alone. Do it with love. Everything should be done with love. But where there is prophecy, there will fail. Where there are tongues, there will see. Where there is knowledge, it will vanish away. But we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect come, that which is in part will be done away. Abide is faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Don't exercise your faith until you get your love in position. If your love is in position, your faith will come up. Your hope will come up if your love is in position. Because what Paul is saying that if you got all of that in order and don't have love, you're just making a bunch of noise. And don't raise your hand, but how many know some folks that don't do nothing but make a bunch of noise? It's easy to, to talk. But old folks saying you ought to walk the walk you talk. Can I get a witness? If you can't walk it, don't talk it. And see, my brothers and sisters, we, we have an example of love. Jesus Prove. God proved our love. His love for us when he sent his son into a world that the world even rejected him. God sent his son. The son came and suffered and died and gave his life for people like you and I. No good. But because of his love. Oh, 
I love that song. It says, it wasn't the nails that held him to the cross. Oh, he could have come down, but love held him to the cross. Yes, it was his love that he loved each and every one of us. Even when he knows that we no good. He knows that we tricking and shot, but he loves us anyhow. So whatever you do, before you brag on your tongue, before you brag on your knowledge and your faith, learn how to love one another. That's what the world needs. We need to know how to love each other. It's a shame that even in the church, we have a shortage of love. <laughs> Even in the church, we don't know how the love. See, love is forgiveness. Can I get a witness? <laughs> love will make you forgive one another. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> love will make you say, I know I ain't. I said I wasn't going to do it no more, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> I'm so glad that God loved each of us that way. Can I get a witness? Anybody have ever lied and the God still love you? Have you done some other stuff and he still love you? Now, he said, come unto me, all ye labor and heavy laden, and I'll, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Now, yeah, Lord. Now, whatever you do, learn how to love people. Now, love them when they're right. Love them when they're wrong. Love them when they're conniving. Love them when they're doing good. I, hey, Lord, I, Lord, help me this morning I, to love my enemy, to love my friend, to love those that set out to do me wrong. Choose the greatest. Choose love. Choose love. Amen. Next time somebody brag on there, Prophecy brag on their feet, tell them that's all right. That's all right. I got love. I got unconditional love. I can love those that are no good. I can love those that ain't trying to do anything. I can love those. See, because you have to understand every living person has a part of God in them, and you don't have the right to separate it. He said, I'm going to separate the sheep from the goat. Choose the greatest which is love. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, love. Love. And it makes you, make you feel good when you love people. Amen? And see, sometimes, sometimes when you do good for people, and, and you know, and, and they, they don't know, they think they're getting over on you. You ain't getting over on me. If you're getting over on anybody, you're getting over on God. And he will get, he, he, he'll catch up with you after a while. Love one another. The Bible says so much on unity and one. Love each other. Love each other. Love each other. Does that mean that we're going we, we to get along all the time? No. But love will make us get back together. How many ever bit their tongue? You ever bit your tongue? And when you came back down the next time, that tongue was, that tongue was in the same position, wasn't it? It got back where it's supposed to be, didn't it? Amen? Oh, yeah, it got out of the way and got in the way of teeth. And it, I, I, I've done bad in mine, but not too long. It was back, back where it's supposed to be. That's where love is. We get upset with each other, but we ought to get back in position. That's what love is. Love will. No, love, love don't say, oh, with them. Love said, no, get it together. Get it right. Get it right. That's what divides us, the lack of love. Love will be just like a family member. You know, some, oh, every family got a family member that you don't invite to the family reunion. But it's still your family. You can't, you can't separate that. Can't separate that. Can't separate that. But love, love is the greatest. Choose love. Learn how to love people. Learn how to love people. And the best way to learn how to love people is leave their sin to God. 
Let me say that again. The best way to love them is to leave their sin to God. Amen. 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 Don't, 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 don't get caught up in what I'm doing and, and hate me. See, because you hypocrite, and it's hard for hypocrites to change. But sinners are changed. See, I, I change to get into heaven and you still. So love people. Just love them. Just love them. Yeah, I don't like what you're doing, and I'm I'm a, I'm a back off, but I love you. I love you. I love you. See, because by you hating them, you can't you can't send them to hell. And by hating them, you really sidetracking yourself. Amen? So no, love them. Love them. Don't, doesn't matter who they are and what they're doing. Love them. Love them unconditionally. And see, she, she love them unconditionally. One day they stop and say, now why is she still, he's still putting up with me? Why? That's what love would do for you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So before you before you work on your shout, work on your love. Before you work on your hallelujah. Oh, it's the God good. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Work on I love you, blow, blow. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Because God loves everybody. And God is love. Amen. 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 Now, the love, love doesn't mean that I have to put myself in position that you just keep abusing me. Now, that's, that's not love. That's not love. That's not love. Love is say, I still love you, but I still put you where you need to be. But I still love you. I still love you. And whatever I can do, I'm going to do it to help you. But, you know, now I don't have to have you abusing me. Not, 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 not that kind of love. Not that kind of love. But love people. Love people. And as we would love the world, we would have to build another church as we would love the world because just that's what draw people love. Amen? Man, you look different. We love you. You act different. We love you. Amen? And see what God, the, the word is to get people to him, not to me. It's not my job to change you to be like me. Because I'm working on myself to be like him. And that's my job is to help you be like him. Amen? Glory! That's sin divorce there. <laughs> I, I get caught up. I get caught up in sin. <laughs> I'm working, <laughs> working to be like him. Love is the greatest. Love is the greatest. Re always remember that. Love is the greatest. Remember love. Love is long suffering. I told you yesterday. I told you last year. Love is long suffering. And long suffering is just like eternity. It didn't, didn't say a week, a year. It's a long suffering until something happens. Amen? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Maybe that wasn't this morning. You don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Or maybe you're already saved and you don't have a church home and you want to become a part of the Mount Pleasant family. Maybe you see, you know, some things that's going on there at the Mount Pleasant that I love it to be a part of. We want to give you an opportunity to come. Amen? 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 And I want those of us that here to know that the bottom line of our coming is about Jesus. That's all. It's about Jesus. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. Amen. At the end of the day, it's about Jesus. What you done for Jesus? What you gonna do for Jesus? That's the bottom line. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. So if you don't know him this morning, we don't get an opportunity to come. You already know me. You want to become a part of the Mount Pleasant family. Will you come this morning? May you decide to have prayer. You want to come and bow out the altar. You want to come and have one of these brothers and sisters pray with you, pray for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Thank you for his love. It's unconditional love. Just pick me up every time. Just pick me up every time. You're doing it 
the season. Come on. Please don't there be one. Come on. Come on. You don't know him as your Savior. Come on. He's standing at the door with his own wide open. He said, come on. Come on. Come on to me. All you live in heaven. Oh, I'll give you rest. Lord, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Doing in the come on. Season. Come on. He loves you. Come on. Please don't do it without me. Come on. Oh, don't do it without me. Lord, if you're blessing, blessing in the season, please don't do it without me. Come on. There be one. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, Lord, if you're blessing, blessing in the season, please don't do it without me. Lord, don't do it without me. Oh, Lord. Lord, if you're healing, healing in the season, please don't do it without me. Oh, Lord, don't do it without me. Oh, Lord, if you're healing, Oh, God, please don't do without me. Here am I, Lord Jesus, don't do it without me. Oh, Lord, whatever you're doing in the season, If you're blessing, blessing in the season, please don't. Oh, hear it, my Lord, please don't do it without me. Oh, Lord, if you're blessing. Lord, 
Give it my Lord, don't do it. Whatever you're doing in the season, Lord, don't do it without me, Lord. Don't do it without me. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it without me. God bless you. Choose the greatest. Choose love, 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 love. I want that gift. I want that gift, love. Because love will overtake all the others if you got love. At this time, those person that joined a ministry, would you come forth? And I want to say this to the, those persons that sign up, unless you called and said that you had to work, department head, do not let them become a part of your ministry until they are installed. And I say that slow because I know we, we do everything with love, right? Everything with love. So as you start, sign up for a department and you not here today and you didn't call and say you won't be able to come, don't join that ministry next Sunday. Amen? All right. Those persons, will they come forth, please? Those persons that sign up for a ministry, come forth. Amen. Amen. And I believe it's with volunteer. None of y'all got drafted, right? All of y'all was vol y'all volunteer, right? Amen. You volunteer that you want to be a part of a certain ministry. Amen. All right. Again, Sister Wilson, you need to come, and you already on the ministry. You can bring Brother Wilson with you. We gonna go ahead and sign him up in advance. Amen. All right. Again, unless they, unless they are in store, do not let them come a part of that ministry next Sunday or whenever until they are in store. We have to be accountable. Amen? Amen. And remember that you're not, you're not doing this for me. Okay? You're not doing this for me. You're not doing that for the department head. You're doing it for the Lord. Let me, let, matter of fact, I got the scripture in my hand here. Let me, let me read it here. Colossians 3 23 said, Work hard and cheerful at whatever you do as though you was working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward. The master of serving is Christ. Amen? All right? So if I talk ugly to you next Sunday, you ain't got no business quitting because you're not quitting on me. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Now, you don't get mad with me or get mad with another department here and quit. You're quitting on God. Not me. Amen? All right? All right. So I just want, I, I want to make that clear now. Is, anybody want to leave now? Everybody go follow through. All right? All right. All right. Because if, if she quit, I'm, I'm going to show this Lord help me to show up, to show up in your presence. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quit on him. He won't quit on you. God bless you, and it's a good thing because, uh, and, and that's why, I, and, a lot that, and that's why sometimes we miss our blessing because we let people rob us of our blessing. See, God is, God is going to reward you for what you're doing. 
Not me, not the church. God is going to reward you. Amen? So if you let me upset you and you quit, guess what? I just rob you of your blessing. I just rob Sister Weedon, I just rob you of your blessing. <laughs> No, 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 no. Don't, don't let nobody do that. Amen? Amen. Amen. If, she had, if she had to sit down and say, now, we're going to have to get something straight because I ain't going to quit. And, and I got a problem with you. You in the way. I ain't going to quit. I ain't going to quit. I ain't going to quit on God. All right. All right. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, uh, pray and the deacon's going to come by and give you a handshake of uh, installment. All right? So, Ursus? I thought Brother Orange was the Ursus. Brother Orange, didn't you sign that sheet? Did you sign that sheet? You changed your mind? Oh, you changed your mind. Okay. All right. All right. Now, I just need to know you changed your mind, right? Oh, you still thinking about it? All right. Well, you know the process, right? All right. All right. All right. All right. Let us pray. I'm getting old. Let us pray. Father, we thank you now for your grace and mercy. Thank you for those who come, volunteer for service in your ministry. We pray now, God, that they will look beyond those persons that is they're working with and look to you because that's who they're working for. Give them, oh God, a good smile, a good attitude, a good love. That will we enjoy everything they're doing. Lift them up when they're down. And just remind them that you promise you will leave, nor forsake, be with even until the end of time. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Who, who's who, who's Urshan? Who signed up for Urshan? All right. All right. Y'all got a good smile, good, 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 good attitude. Amen. I don't want nobody on the door that, 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 that have the face say, you don't have to be here if you don't want to. <laughs> all right. All right. God bless you. All right. Would y'all congratulate them, install them? And this, and this is on the job training now. Oh, 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 oh let, let, me, let, me, let me get the. This is on the job training. I'm expecting the department head to train you. All right? This is on the job training. All right? All right. This is on the job training. On the job training. So each department, train your persons. All right? All right. Okay, y'all, let's 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 get ready to go home. Let's get ready to go home.
All right, all right. Brother Richard, Brother Richard, you changed your mind too? He was up here, I'm right, my bad, okay. All right, John Cannon and Brother Richard is media, media at Vacation Bible School. Sister Brenda Glover, Urshan, I, I need a wide Urshan. Barbara Sally, Urshan, she called wouldn't be here today. Sister Linda Butler, Urshan, Sunday School and Choir. Sister Kelly Urshan, Jay Mont, Renee Anderson, is going to Urshan, Vacation Bible School, Melissa Williams, Urshan, Sunday School, Food Bank. Renee Brigman, Ursula, Dennis Brook, Ursula Christmas, Margaret Ham Christmas, Barbara Rivers, Vacation Bible School, Crystal McDaniel, Vacation Bible School, Glory Jenkins, Christmas Dinner, Francis Dixon, Vacation Bible School, Sunday School, Cannon, Vacation Bible School, Married Ministers, San Keru. Vacation Bible School, Sunday Devil, Vacation Bible School, Eric Devil, Sunday School, the Frederick, Sunday School, Deacon Clayton Dixon, Christmas, Alisa Wise, Vacation Bible School, Deacon S, Old Little Bird, Christmas, Cannon, Vacation Bible School, Health Ministry, Reverend Neighbors Lucas, Christmas, Monroe, Marys, the White Marys, Home of the Marys, and Brother Webb, Les Marys, Diane Rivers, Missionary, Evelyn Scipio, Missionary, Hagel. Missionary. All right. Those department heads, you have a list. The department heads, you ha y'all have a list, right? All right. All right. All right. God. Now they, they can't. Now may his grace and peace and love and joy be with us until we meet again. Let us all sing. <laughs> 